Please note that if the council wishes to move option B at the next at a further date, it will require a two-thirds majority because it will be contrary to the resolution adopted by council on July 8, 2013. The motion at the moment is to postpone it to July. The uh, the recommendation is to postpone it to July, to September 22nd. Okay, and I'm giving notice at the moment that if if someone wanted to move item B, recommendation B, it would be a two-thirds majority. Okay. Right now I need a motion to receive the report uh, for the purpose of debating on September 22nd, the next council meeting. Moved by Councillor Grant, seconded by Councillor McDonald. Councillor Grant, question? Uh, we're, uh, we're not debating, no, we're not debating. We're debating, I'm, I'm talking about, we talked about, uh, at that time we have the opportunity to let the new council deal with it. December. Now that's not going there. You no, can, nothing in you November. Council will have the possibility of making any intervention in any direction it chooses to at the meeting of September 22nd. Okay. Thank you, Richard. I think everybody on council received an email from, from Dr. Paul from the House Unit asking that we uh, hold off on this so he has a chance to talk to us. Can that happen before the 22nd? No. The next council meeting is September 22nd. So he would want to come and talk to us on the 22nd? Not necessarily. But the council will make that decision if it chooses to at that time. Right now, we're not debating it. No, I, I realize that, but also, yeah. we, we, yes. are, we, we pay a, a big bucks. Big bucks. I was going to say big bucks. We pay a, an amount to the, the health unit for the services. We rely on Dr. Paul for the, how do you pronounce your second name? yours for uh, his advice. And here we're just saying, no, we're done. I don't think that's an issue of what we're doing in the 22nd. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you, uh, the, the question on the 22nd will be the entire report. So uh, <coughs> it would be appropriate at that time to for council to make any recommendation or pass any motion that they so choose. Perhaps a motion would be to invite him at a subsequent council meeting at a future date. That's a reason. That's a correct. Thank you. Okay. So all those in favor of the council? I understand that we'll have the debate on the 22nd, and who knows what will happen on the 22nd. But in advance of the 22nd, could we not have more information so that we can have a full debate on the 22nd rather than wait till the 22nd and then? maybe ask for information there, depending on what the mood of the council is. I, I think that there are some questions, I'm not debating this, I'm just gonna ask for this information to be provided for the 22nd. Um, you know, we'd like to, to have the community see the response from Dr. Remiliotis. We'd like more detail concerning the costing of these upgrades that are being proposed. Um, there's an issue of a legal opinion. We might wanna see the legal opinion too on this issue. Um, you know, we've heard from, we know there's a list of communities that don't provide fluoride. We've been doing it safely, some others have. You know, what is it that precipitated this? The report says it has been determined that there are safety issues. That's a great concern to us. What is it that has precipitated this? I don't think this report provides enough information for me to be able to debate this properly on the 22nd. So I'm hoping that the issues I've just raised may, may I think those are all valid questions um, and we could certainly provide more information by the 22nd in an effort to address those concerns. So, um, or at least, you know, provide a position on it. Uh, so, I, I, I think for the record, if we've got all of your questions or if you'd like to, you know, make sure. And we could, I can certainly you know, send them to, to us. And, and we'll do our best to uh, answer those questions uh, for the 22nd. The feeling that I got when reading the report was that, I don't know, but it felt like maybe there was an attempt to circumvent a council decision. And if that's the case, that's inappropriate. However, if this is truly about safety concerns that employees are expressing, then we need to know that. It needs to be spelled out in the report because we want to make sure that our workplaces are safe. But if this is to circumvent a decision of council, so uh, we need more information so that maybe I don't have that feeling anymore when I read this report. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Okay, the CEO is going to give an undertaking that we will provide as much information as you can to all of us. Thank you. Before the meeting of the 22nd. Councilor McDonald, Councilor Grant, Councilor Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And my question has to do with the date, September 22nd. Uh, I'm presuming that it's because of the, um, our own uh, bylaw that if the complex report comes before us, it has to get debated at the next council meeting. So I'm presuming that at the next council meeting, to allow us time to learn all we need to learn and to give Dr. Emiliotis the courtesy of addressing us, since he specified the date in November, that on September 26th, <coughs> then we can make a motion to defer this issue until a later time. But right now, for us to make a motion to defer would take a two-thirds majority because of our own procedural bylaw. All right? right. Okay. Right. So on September 22nd, then even though motion to defer doesn't have to be. One thing also right. First time I saw it, notice the motion you know, discussed in this length, but it's uh, interesting. <coughs> I read the report and I thought there was all kinds of information. Was there the only thing I was missing was why the other communities didn't do this, but and that was clarified before. So I think there's plenty of information here. So I'm hopefully we'll have a good debate, and if there are clarification questions, it should be specific to the uh, to this report, and not have Dr. Palm write up these questions. Mr. Gardner, please. Well, I did uh, receive a call to come to To me, the report we have here, there's, a, there's something I want to get out of At the end of the report, they state the communities that have stopped using for my but Dr. Paul sat here and told us of the communities of Calgary who reinstituted this. So I'd like to know if there's going to be any information from the public. Let me, let me ask you and all your colleagues, all of us, if you have any questions that you want answers in time for the September 22nd meeting, Make those available to the CAO for his attention. Okay. Otherwise, if I hope you go ever so slightly on this debate tonight. I just want both sides. It's no debate tonight. No, there won't be. All in favor, receive a hand for it. Opposed, carry. Thank you.